Hey folks, thanks for joining me. It is West Virginia muzzleloader season. It's Saturday. We only got one more day after today of muzzleloader, but it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. We're going on doe patrol tonight. See if we can't put one down for some friends that are needing some meat. I'd like to let the smoke roll out of the old black diamond muzzleloader. But I did go yesterday morning hoping to be able to harvest a doe and it was like 21 degrees, heavy frost, and the deer just didn't move. I was sitting on my plot. But today it's 55. It was still super low, cold this morning, heavy frost, but it's supposed to warm up into the upper 50s. And the deer are already blowing my camera up. It's one o'clock. I was wanting to try to be in my blind at one, maybe 1.30, which I'll make the 1.30. But deer are already blowing my cameras up and the food plot's getting in on the uh, brassicas and winter rye, clover, eating the greens, especially with this warmer weather. But uh, hopefully we're able to put one down. I'm excited. I'd like to get one here with the muzzleloader. You know, I've passed up a lot of good deer this year with my bow, even with my gun. I haven't hard, hardly hunted West Virginia, but just a few times just because I just didn't have the target bucks. But really really hunted a high hard and passed up some really nice deer there again trying to get something that was uh shooting really for mid 130s or 140s and up and it's been hard to get on anything the best i've got on and actually passed up was probably maybe 130 inch eight point that made it so far and he could really turn into something next year but we're going to see if we're able to get the dough down and should be fun with the old muzzleloader so thanks for joining me
good shot on her. Man, that jacked my ear. <laughs> Smoke's rolling, but uh, still breathing smoke. She didn't run 20, 30 yards from the looks of it and fell over. Nice, man. That was a good shot. Good shot. That's exciting. There's no track in that one. Oh. Let's go ahead and get out of the blind. We'll get some stuff together here, but by the time we get over there, you know, she'll have some time. No down, baby. No down. I'm excited. Muzzle loader. That's my third deer ever with a muzzle loader. So let's let's get going, guys. Hey. Took some patience on my part at least because they came out, sat feeding forever, and that doe was ultra, ultra nervous. And uh, she just kept watching. The others were feeding. Finally, she turned, quartering two, gave me that shoulder that was perfect, and nice steady shot, squeezed it off, dropped her. Awesome. Throw down. First deer for the year. Alright, let's get the stuff together and we'll get over there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yep, yeah, there's no tracking on that one. Guys, I'm gonna switch over to my GoPro. I'm gonna switch over to my GoPro and once we get up to her, I'll switch back to that main camera. Man, I still can't hear out of my left ear much. All right, guys, we're gonna make our way up on this doe. Again, like I said, no. No track job. About a hundred yard shot with a muzzle loader. I don't know what was going on behind me. I'll show you my blind right here. That's my blind. But I don't know whether a, a deer was making its way in behind me or what that uh, she was watching and getting nervous. But they made their way out, out here into the field. And uh, anyways, got a quarter and two. Pretty excited. There she is. Let's make sure we're good here. Yeah. Nice big doe. Good doe. Whew. Let me uh let me get my gun and stuff down, get the tripod set up, and we'll be back with you here in a minute. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the hunt. Had a great time here bringing it to you. The, you know, the goal tonight was to come in and be able to harvest a doe. Ended up having a little fawn come in behind me. And then later I had uh, two does and a fawn come out. Had to be patient, you know, they were coming out here feeding and they got kind of in front of each other and I wanted the doe to come up closer and give me a, you know, 90 to 100 yard shot, which is roughly where I'd sighted in the muzzle loader. And, she ended up getting nosy. I don't know whether there was a deer that was behind me there in the hayfield or not, but she came up on this knoll and 
separated herself from the others finally and gave me a quarter and two shot and I was able to put it right here on the shoulder and come right out perfect right behind like I wanted. She didn't run but 20 or 30 yards piled up quick good ethical harvest and now I'm going to be able to get her cleaned up get her the meat processor and my friends are going to be able to enjoy some venison so it was a good successful hunt my first year for the year I've passed up a lot of good bucks in Ohio some decent ones in West Virginia I just didn't have any shooters in West Virginia and my boy harvested uh, our main shooter in Ohio. I did have a couple new ones come in, but um, they weren't, you know, necessarily ones that were going to break your heart if you didn't get them. But they could be great ones next year, and that's what I'm hoping they turn into is some really good ones next year. But tonight was all about doe harvest. We got her done, guys. If you like the video, if you would like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. I'll be bringing you more content. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.